good morning. It's Sunday the 2nd of June 2019 and we're off on a ride out, I'll meet up first and we're off on a ride out down into the Worcestershire Malvern countryside. I'm not sure how many of us are going this morning, probably about four or five maximum I would imagine. So I'm just on our way now to uh, the meeting point in Alzowin. A little petrol station at the bottom of Mucklow Hill. Our meeting point before we uh, set off down into Worcestershire. Need some fuel as well, so that's the first job on the agenda. It's a lovely morning this morning. There's rain forecast for this afternoon. It's lovely and mild. I've got the vents on my jacket open. And uh, it's just the perfect sort of weather to be moving. A bit, bit muggy, I think it's going to get a little bit later. But uh, for the time of day it is today, at about half past seven in the morning, it's, uh, it's really lovely. So, yeah, that's the plan. Meet up, have a ride out. We're planning to be back for about lunchtime, about 12 ish. Um, I've decided to use the MT10 today because it's his turn for a ride out. I took the uh, Tiger Explorer to Normandy a couple of weeks ago and before that was out on the Bob of Black. So this is definitely the turn of the MT10 to stretch his legs. I've, uh, I'm back enjoying being back on the MT10. I forget how nice this is to ride. That's the beauty of having the three bikes is that because you're uh, rotating them you uh, you get to slightly forget what you enjoy about each one and then when you ride it again the reason why you like it so much becomes uh, apparent and this bike is a lot of fun a lot a lot of fun just keeping it in check is about the only problem with this bike he does want to do his own thing. But he's such a lot of fun. So much torque and power as well. So that's the plan. And the good thing about coming out early as well is the roads are a bit more uh, less, less congested. So there's an added bonus to being out early, especially in this country. I do love this bike. And here we are at the petrol station. No, we're not, it's the next one. So as I say, I'll be back uh, shortly when we set off proper. Followed by Rob, Kev in front of me, and Joe behind me.
So we're just arriving in Starport on 7 now. And then uh, we're off down towards uh, Ludlow. If my uh, assessment of Paul's navigation is correct. So, bikes pulls on his Kawasaki K800 with his wicker basket in uh, true Wallace and Gromit style. Joe's on his GSX 1000. Rob's on his Aprilia. I'm not quite sure what its uh, model is. And Kev's on the MT09 SP and I'm on the MT10 SP today. Uh, this is Starport on 7. And we're having a little bit of practice of second man drop off today. In readiness for our uh, trip to Northumberland which is about five weeks away now four or five weeks away five weeks maximum going up to Northumberland together our uh, second man drop off is a technique to stop us getting separated don't work very well in towns mind um, Brian can't be with us today because he's uh, He's at work, or well, if he's not at work, he's on a shift that means he needs to be in bed. And Sarah, she's not with us because she's having a lie in, I think. So, uh, cruise over the River Severn, lovely. So these are all our local uh, haunts. This is about half an hour away from home. We're, uh, we're into this sort of countryside which is lovely it's been a few years since I was down here I think or well, down this way but it's our, uh, our stamping ground it's from the west and south west of Birmingham and to the south of Birmingham to some extent into the Cotswolds is the is the best sort of uh, countryside that we've got in the Midlands and of course then if you go northeast you're up into the uh, Derbyshire Peaks where we were a few weeks back and over for the east more flat but you've got Melton Mowbray and or Leicestershire over there I haven't really ridden much over there but that's somewhere that's uh, Need to try and get over to a little bit more. Riding the MT10 is definitely a different experience to riding the uh, Tiger Explorer. You can chuck this around, you can chuck that around to be fair, but uh, when you're slow moving or standing still, that's a heavy bike. But this is just uh, it's like a feather compared to that. I need to chuck it around a little bit more. But for touring, I don't think there's anything better than that uh, than that tiger, than the tiger. I love it. So we'll be packing it up again soon for uh, for our next trip to Northumberland. I'm going to put the panniers on this time. I didn't put the panniers on the side panniers on um, for Normandy. I thought it'd be a good idea not to just have the uh, the folding 30 litre bag for clothes and stuff but I think I'm going to go for the panniers just makes everything a little bit easier I think so, just experimenting with what's what's best for the particular trip that we're doing a lovely bit of scenic countryside there and that rock escarpment there over to the right as I say this is 
35 40 minutes away from home. Um, any later in the day you'd probably be contending with a bit more traffic on this road. So I'll finish the second video from the Normandy trip. Finished and uploaded that to YouTube last night. Day two where we visited Pegasus Bridge, Sword Beach and Juno Beach. And I'll be starting shortly, probably tomorrow night. I'm starting on the day three one where we visited Omaha Beach, the American uh, Cemetery, um, the American Museum, I forgot what it's called, um, and then a little trip up to St Mary Lease. So that will be the, the next trip of the Normandy series. And then there'll be one final one, which will only be a short one, which is just us coming back on the last day, on the Sunday, back to the ferry. And then from uh, from Portsmouth on the uh, Monday, back up through the countryside. And the Cotswolds are home that way. That will be a, a short short video just to uh, capture that. But we did come through some lovely villages, the sat now found some cracking villages. So I say Tenbury and Martley, as I suspected. these roads like the back of his blooming hand. Yeah, Worcestershire certainly is a lovely place. There's Kev going for the overtake. through some cracking countryside this morning. Real twisties, lovely. So where are we now? Just waiting for Joe and Rob. Dad's having a bit of cramp problem with his hand I think this morning. Bless him. So the joys of Getting on a bit. Cradley. In the Malvern Hills. This bike just wants to go constantly. I mean, I'm in C mode. It just pulls like a train. Superb machine. Yeah, 
really is a joy to ride this bike. So our trip to Northumberland, uh, we go up on the Wednesday and we come back on the Sunday. We used to do uh, three days but they just weren't long enough really. So we had an extra day and that extra day makes all the difference. And it gives the opportunity to take a lot more in. So I'm looking forward to that. I think we're somewhere near the Kilda Reservoir or Kilda Reservoir. And uh, I do like reservoirs and lakes, rivers. So hopefully there'll be some opportunities to get the drone up there. I'm taking it along. So I think we're setting off early on the Wednesday morning, we're meeting at 6 o'clock We're going to stop and have a, a breakfast on the way Just notice the back of pulls, um, or the handles and the straps on pulls, wicker baskets we Looks like he's got a smiling face on the back of his bike I don't think he knows about that, so I'll have to tell him when, I, when we stop. So, we're in Mulvern now. That's what I'm just passing through Mulvern. Getting the old indicators. <laughs> Side calf, lovely. The, uh, the bike into B mode now. Just have a bit more fun on the way home. And I remember to put my earplugs in this time for a change as well. Now, on the twist is heading back up towards out. Just need to get past this motor in front. Uh, he's going our way, typical. Shouldn't be too much of a problem to get past, hopefully. Goes Joe. There goes me. I'm coming love this 
poi Temperature wise at 22 degrees. Not doing too bad with the weather this year so far. Fingers crossed it holds out into uh, July and August. Joe the pheasant spotter. Well done, Joe. Such a powerful machine. I'm still only in B mode. Puddingly. Horses. Here's the culprit of all this um, mess in the road. And we're turning off. And here's the rain again.
as though the rains arrived proper now. It's not going to get any especially heavier than this. supposed to have done unfortunately and we're on the last sort of leg of the journey now we're in property area she knows a bit of rain but it's uh, nothing too serious Glen Tills over there I think Horses ahead. Bell brought her. separate ways
an awesome machine. <laughs> That's why they spike you so much fun. So that's it really. That's today's Worcestershire ride out done. Another one chalked up to the MT10. Hopefully, uh, again in another couple of weeks' time, weather permitting, that one will probably be on the Bonneville from the Black. So, on that note, we'll call it a day. <laughs>